Hey, this is Nick from Anima, and in this video, I'll show you how I created this redesign of Skillshare's popular website using this free landing page UI kit from Anima, which is linked in the description below. I'll walk you through each step of the process so you'll know exactly how to create your own custom branded landing page using this all-inclusive template as a starting point. So let's get to it. We'll start with the navigation bar. As you can see, this component has at least eight variants to choose from, but I'll stick with the current one. Next, I'll go to the component list here and select the navigation bar to change the logo. I'll select the placeholder logo, remove it, copy Skillshare's logo, then paste it into our navigation bar. I'll then change the navbar menu options to match those on Skillshare's page. We have contacts, plans, and how it works. Next, I'll remove this button because it's redundant, and I'll also update this Get Started button. To do that, I'll navigate to the main component from this dropdown, but you can also navigate to the button component separately using the component list here on the left. I'll change the button's color to this shade of pink. Then I'll add this color to the library and name it CTA button pink to create a style. Now if we return to our pre-made template, we can see that all of the CTA buttons have now been replaced with this color pink. I went through the same color change process with the navbar menu options. And now I'll remove the button's icon and change its corner radius. To do this, I'll select this instance of the button. We can see different variants and properties we can switch between here in the control panel. For example, the option to remove the left icon, to change the icon to a different one from the list, to add a right icon, and so on. In this case, I'll remove the icon altogether and change the corner radius to 0 degrees to give it square edges. I'll push these changes to the main component so they won't apply to frames and instances in other sections. Here, we'll return to the main component to see those changes applied. So as you can see in our remix file, we have a stroke at the bottom of the navbar. To recreate this in our template file, we'll select the navbar, then add the stroke over here in the control panel, making sure it's only applied to the bottom of the component. We'll adjust the size to match the remix, and there you go. Next, we'll replace this image asset. I'll delete the placeholder, then select fill, but instead of a color, I'll select image and choose this one from my local files. We'll adjust the corner radius to 10 to soften the edges a bit so it matches the remix. You can crop this picture, enlarge it, and make a host of other micro adjustments to meet your needs. We'll also change this button by navigating to the main component, where we'll change the color of the stroke as well as the text, adjust the corner radius, and remove the icon so it matches the Skillshare Remix. If I wanted to alter the typography, I'd do it from the main hero header component the same way I did with the button. Next, I'll customize the other sections in the template. Now that our navbar and hero header are ready to rock, I'll make some adjustments to the logo section. I'll select this instance and navigate to the main component. This is the main component, and here are some logos I'd like to use to replace the existing ones. I'll replace FedEx with Time Magazine, HubSpot with Forbes, and Microsoft with New York Times. And we can see that the logos have been updated here. We can also cycle between variants for the logo bar for different use cases, but I'll stick with the first one so that we're aligned with Skillshare's format. Now that I've updated the logos, I'll change the stroke color to black to match Skillshare's remix. Then I'll adjust the auto layout parameters for the logo section so that the size and spacing match as well. And that's it for the logo section. Now let's move on to the card layout. I already updated the typography, which I did by selecting the text layer, then going to text settings in the control panel, where I was able to change the font to the one I need. 
and those changes apply to any text with the same style. Now, let's edit the cards. For this card, I'll edit the main component so it's continuous on all screens that use it. First thing we'll do is move this icon to the bottom of the card to match the image placement in the remix. Remove the icon, adjust the corner radius to 10, and replace the color fill with an image. I'll make it bigger and adjust the spacing to 10 pixels using Auto Layout. Since Auto Layout has been applied throughout each template component and its elements, you can easily make all kinds of padding and spacing adjustments to get the exact look you want. Next, we'll change the CTA text color to the CTA button pink I added to the color styles library, and do the same for the arrow. We can also easily adjust the typography the same way we did in the card layout header. And since we're editing the main card component, those adjustments will be applied to all of its instances in the design, like this updated CTA color, including the tablet and mobile version. Now we can see here the card in the Skillshare remix also has a stroke and sharp corners. So in the template, I'll remove the existing stroke and add a black one then change the corner radius to zero. So you can see that this card has the updates applied, including resizing, sharp corners, and a black stroke. Meanwhile, the other cards aren't updated in the same way because this complex component has its own self-contained settings for the cards, which we'll need to change here. I'll remove this stroke and add a black one, adjust the size, remove this unnecessary layer from the layout and fill it with white, and remove the drop shadow, which isn't used on Skillshare's redesigned landing page. You can apply these changes to each card in the layout. When we finish this card layout section, we can apply similar changes to the section below. We can switch the background color to white and easily change the typography using the styles menu, like we did previously. In the final version, we can see that these cards are designed a bit differently than in the template. So we'll go to the main component, get rid of the round corners, eliminate the fill, and change the spacing. And again, we have the option to change the typography in a few clicks. As you can see, I also changed the order of my sections in the final version, which is really easy to do. Just click the section, drag, and drop. To wrap up this customization, I'll show you how I updated this form. Again, I'll navigate to the main component. I can change the icon colors, as well as the strokes and the corner radiuses of the text inputs and submit button. I can also change these icons down here. I can switch between variants, change the color to CTA pink, and push the changes to the main component so it applies throughout the design. You can see here that the icon color has now been changed in the main component. When we applied all of the changes end to end, we ended up with this recreation of Skillshare's awesome landing page. And as you can see, the steps are really simple, even for novice designers. We'll make sure to use the same process for the tablet and mobile versions, and we're good to go. What will you create with our template?